Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Learn with Luke. Today we're going to be talking about our Zometry Partner Portal. I'm Luke, Zometry's Community and Marketplace Engagement Lead, and I'm joined by Alex Gunter today. Alex, how's it going? You can give everybody watching a little introduction to you and kind of what you do here at Zometry. Absolutely. Thank you, Luke. Uh, my name is Alex Gunter. I'm a senior product manager, and I've worked with the Partner Portal and the Job Board over the last few years. So today I would like us to look at the Job Board, some of the controls and functionality that are available, and then go into those details together. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds great. Do you want to you want to kind of start walking us through like uh, where do you go to get into the portal? All right. So if you're on the home page, you can click sign in. When it drops down, click supplier sign in. Many of you might already have this job board bookmarked if it's a common destination or you're visiting it from the email notifications that you get for each job offer. So the first thing that we notice is we have four job offers and some of them have match scores. One of them has a repeat work flag. A few of them have a blue dot. So those have bonuses attached to them. And what we'll do together is use the filters, try some sorting and other ways to quickly get back to the job board as we wanna see it. To start, we can click on the dropdown for technology. And then you see, as you add filters, it will remember them. Let's say we leave it at one filter for technology and then one filter for material. When you're reviewing job offers, let's say we click on the first one, you can do back to the job board and it will retain the filters. Unfortunately, if you click on job board in the navigation, then it will not remember them. So a quick tip is to bookmark your job board after you have set all of your filters and your sorting, maybe you want to see them by price high to low. And when you click add bookmark from your browser, you can now come back to this job board sorted and filtered just as you want it. There's a few other tricks as well. One is if you want to open detail pages for each job offer in a different tab, you can right click on the view offer details button, open link in a new tab. And if you can go down your list of job offers, you can do that quickly. Let's say for all four offers that we have in front of us. And that gives them each a few seconds to load, and then you can click through them easily. So that's one that some of our users find very helpful. Another tip is if you're visiting the job board from your phone, you can bookmark it in your mobile browser. And to do that, we're gonna click on a browser type we're gonna log into that browser. And as you know that if you click remember me, it will keep you logged in for a day. So now we're gonna see the same job board on the mobile view. And if you were to bookmark, you'd be able to save it to your bookmarks or even to your home screen. And I'm gonna to go to the middle here where we see add to home screen. This is going to make it look like an app. So it's one fewer tap to get back to that job board with the filters as you have set it up. Great tip. Now you're going to see it on your home page. Okay, let's go back to the regular job board. When you see a blue eye next to the price, that means that there's a partner bonus based off of your partner success score. And so you'll see the breakout. This of course is a simple part. Maybe we're not interested in it and we just want to remove it from the board. We click not interested and it will remove it from your job board without sending Zometry any signal about your interest in those types of parts. On the other hand, if you see a job offer that you're interested in, providing feedback will let you tell us about that price or lead time or manufacturability feedback. And also you'll still be able to view the original uh, job offer. Something to keep in mind is that even though we show these on different tabs, you can mix information. So let's say it's just about lead time and you would like extra days. And you also have some manufacturability questions. You can combine those pieces of feedback and when you submit them, the job will move over to your feedback offers tab. And so here what we have is the original job. We haven't yet reviewed the details. All right, let's go back to your regular offers tab. We now have a repeat work 
job in if you want to accept it. There's a few things that everyone has been used to seeing over the last few years. One is the 3D viewer. And a more recent one since the beginning of March is the ability to open in Fusion 360. If you already have Fusion 360, when you click continue to Fusion 360, it'll remember that. And it will always attempt to hand off the CAD file to your Fusion 360. Otherwise, you have an easy link to the cart for a 20% discount on subscriptions. Good thing to keep in mind. Um, let's go ahead and accept this job. And at this point, we will receive that email with the purchase order attached to it. So questions about how we match jobs to our partners. And the main way is during onboarding, you applied for a manufacturing process. Let's now head over to the partner settings and show if you have additional capabilities and you would also like to see sheet metal work, for example, you'd be able to apply for approval Make sure you've added the machines on your account and submit your application. Zometry will review that application and approve it. This is one of the ways that we match jobs. Another way is based off of the past jobs that you've completed, we will show jobs that are similar with a higher match score. So in this case, we have one that's a 74% match. It does have a bonus attached to it. I haven't done this job before, so I'm not seeing the repeat work flag, but let's say that we want to provide feedback and just need a little bit more on the price. When you submit price feedback only without also asking for additional lead time days, that's when there might be an automatic updated price offer. So let's try it. Instead of 647, let's go with just a small increment of maybe 650 and Let's go submit feedback. You'll get a notification if this offer comes back to you and you'll see it move from the feedback offers tab back to the regular offers tab at that updated price. What other questions, Luke? Yeah, that's great. Um, so another question that we've been running into a lot with partners as they're navigating through their job board is, how they can tell if inspection is required during this and kind of dif different requirements that they're going to see when they decide to accept a job. So it's important to pay attention on the view offer details to the inspection requirements. We have a number with a standard inspection. When you've accepted your job, you'll see that if there's a VQC required, like there is on this second one, you'll know that as soon as you've accepted the job, there are certain rules in place if it's a formal inspection or a CMM, or if it's an injection molding or a urethane casting job, we'll automatically place a VQC on those jobs. Going into the view job details page after you've accepted it is a good place to see inspection and other requirements. And notice that on jobs that have multiple line items, this part details might be collapsed. It might be minimized. You can click the button up here to expand all at the same time. And if you're uploading files, they should remain open. We've recently made improvements so that it was easier. You can also upload multiple files at once. If we went into add files and then we chose a few photos that will allow in one click the upload of multiple documents. In this case, it's a different file. So I wanna remove them. You see how the part section stays open. What about after you've completed jobs, how to know which ones are affecting your score. For that, we're gonna skip shop finances and focus more on the completed work tab. So you click on the menu on the side, go down to completed work. And on our completed work list, we see all jobs by default. You can filter it by late jobs or jobs affecting the score. And next to each one of these, we have the arrow if it's affecting your score in a positive way. Same thing for the inspection status. Of course, we can always go to the view scorecard and on this have an overview of the jobs affecting the score, including a graph of kind of the recent history. And so that's a little bit about after you've completed the job, how to know what we see and how it's affecting your score. Yeah, that's great. Um, this has been a lot of valuable information as you're navigating through your job board. 
I was curious if you would have any, um, you've hit on a lot, but any other kind of information as we're kind of wrapping up here to give to our partners, if they're brand new to their partner board, uh, their partner portal, what would you say is like one of the main things to pay attention to as you are starting to get familiar with the platform? I would say there's two tips on new partners and interacting with job offers. One is from the partner settings and the partner account page. You start off with email notifications. There's two check boxes. One is for each job offer. And then the other one is kind of a summary. If you keep those on and you follow the links to the job board, but you notice that sometimes that job offer is no longer available. What you can also do is just check the job board throughout the day. It will refresh itself every five minutes. But if you're sitting in front of the job board and you just hit a manual refresh, you might see a job offer a few minutes before the email hits your inbox. So we know that there's requests for better notifications, more timely notifications, but by keeping an eye on all of the offers that are coming your way, you'll be able to nab and accept the one that is a good fit at the price shown. Also, you have control over the capacity indicator. So if you select looking for work, that resets once a week. I think it's Sunday night. So by Monday morning, if you click looking for work, you can ensure that you're going to be included on any of the jobs going out that week. Oh, that's great. Alex, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, giving everybody some different tips and tricks and just general navigation of the partner portal. I really appreciate it. No, thank you, Luke. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, join me next week for another episode of Learn with Luke. Bye.